may I think with you about the fifth commandment. Honour thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The authority next to God's is that of parents in the formative years of childhood. And this commandment is very greatly neglected today, like the other nine. And what an effect upon society. Children are told at school, pressure is put upon them, buy this, buy that, own this, own that. And they go home and they put pressure on their parents. Dad, I want this, I want that. And parents often weakly give way to their children and the children can veto wiser decisions and the family can disintegrate if children become the rulers and not the parents. Parents are far from perfect. They make continual mistakes. In Australia, there are 320,000 reported cases of child abuse every year. And God, knowing the fallibility of parents, has yet said their authority is next to his in all good things. And the New Testament repeats it. Read Ephesians 6, 1 to 3, which quotes this fifth commandment and makes it very clear it still avails for Christian households. Would you please notice with me that the fourth and fifth commandments are the hinges of the two tables fourth commandment about the duties of worship, the fifth about our duties to our fellow men, but they all go back to two institutions represented in these commandments and found at the opening of the Bible. The blessing of the Sabbath day, which is the root of the first four commandments, and marriage, which is the source of the fifth commandment. May I say to you, my friends, the world is in a mess today because we've forgotten to remember the rest day. Karl Barth, the greatest theologian perhaps of last century, said when the holy day is lost and becomes a day of man, then society withers and demons rule. Is that not the case today? Is not society withering? Do not demons rule? We killed three times as many people last century by war as died in all the previous 19 centuries by violence. Isn't it strange? We can split the atom. We can walk on the moon. We can't hold back from killing people and lying and stealing and stealing God's day and blaspheming his name and forgetting our home duties. When the fifth commandment is observed, society sticks together. When it's broken, society disintegrates. That's where we are today. God help you, my friend, and help me to set an example of loving obedience to all of God's commandments. Then we'll have done what we can for the world. God bless you.